that it is very auspicious day today because when guru is in this planet there is a relation as guru and shishya disciple and spiritual master at that time <coughs> we our whole energy goes to carry out his orders at that time we cannot think solely outwardly and internally what his motive <coughs> is but uh, today on this special day we have a time to think on whole life uh, what he has done who he was what he wanted to teach and why he has come to this sphere when chaitanya mahaprabhu or krishna was present at that time uh, people could not understand the mission of krishna or mission of lord chaitanya mahaprabhu internally they did not knew but when we left this sphere when he left navadi navadi persons uh, unke jeevan ka mulyan kiya de now when your prabhupad is not here my shiksha guru is not here in our prison he is here he is everywhere his akhand guru tatva his nit prakash of nitya manifestation of nityanand prabhu or balde but yet we are not seen but not seen as instance when krishna was in vrindavan sakha gopis were with krishna dancing in rash always in jugal vilas bihar but when krishna went to mathura and from mathura he went to dwarka gopis realized something more than meeting that is vipralamba bhav by our side we can mostly see him on that form that you have seen he has told something he has ordered something he has given so many teachings but now after some days he has left this sphere and he has gone to his radha krishna jugal perhaps she has given opportunity to know that who he was and for what purpose he has come here here he has written geeta as it is he has written journey to other planets he has written the commentary of shrimad bhagavat so many things he has done but he wanted to do something more but he could not do because we are not in a position and we have no so much qualified that at that time he can give all these things but now by his grace we all 
are in a some more good mood to understand. When Krishna went to Dwarka, Uddhav came to Vrindavan. When he, he was taking order from Krishna that you are sending me to Vrindavan, but how can I live in Vrindavan without you? Krishna told that don't uh, uh, think like so. I am in a very lax and lax Hmm. What? Sabse chote chote. One part of legs and legs parts. But I am fully, solely in Vrindavan. With gopis I am there. When you go to Vrindavan, you will see that I am solely in Vrindavan with gopis and in Braja. I am not in Mathura. At all I am not in Mathura. I am solely in Mathura. In so, now today is the day when uh, where we can think more and more about Swamiji, your Prabhupada, that who he was, he, what he wanted to give in this world. He has given, uh, there were so many teachers and th- so many preachers who went to western countries like uh, Vivekananda and others, so many. And nowadays also there are so many preachers, those who go to western countries and other parts of the world. But I think what Prabhupada has given there, they could not give there. They have taken their theory and their theory in new bottle they have given there. But he has given what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself wanted to give this world. He has given Name within Prem Sutra. Nam, Nam Prem Mala Gathi Parailo Sabare. As Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Namu Mahabadan Naya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gaurat Vise Namaha. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Mahabadan. Similarly, Rup Sanatan Goswami Zar Mahabadana. In Guru Parampara, Jiva Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswami, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, Vishwanacha Varti Thakur, Baldevi Dhyabhusan, Sila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, all are Mahabadana. Because they have tried to give the same thing that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to give. And Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Thakur sent him, knowing that he is a very great personality and he can give my hridaya ki vastu ko wo de shakte hain. My heartal, heartial uh, desire, desire. Desire. desire, he can fulfill and give in Western countries. We know that uh, Vivekananda could not give anything to Western countries. Similarly, all other preachers went there. They, given, they have given only these four things. Purusartha, Dharma, Artha, Kam, 
नॉट मोक्ष धर्म अर्थ एवं काम थ्री थिंग्स समथिंग सम पर्सन सम प्रीचर्स आई ट्राई टू गिव देम मोक्ष ऑल्सो बट नॉट दिस कृष्ण प्रेम दे ट्राई टू गिव ही गेट वेंट देयर एलो ही वेंट देयर प्रैप्स ग्रू वाइज विद हिम एंड राधा कृष्ण वाइज ऑल्सो चैतन्य महाप्रभु नित्यानंद प्रभु वाज देथ हिम बट वी कुड नॉट सी वी सी we saw that he went alone he went alone with not a single pais with him i at first met him in calcutta on akhay tritiya the established day of gauri vedanta samiti our gurudev shila bhakti siddhan bhakti pragyan ke so goswami maharaj who gave him sanyas order <coughs> at that time he was not sanyasi oh sula your sula prabhu pa he called him he came in a grihastha ways but uh, i have not seen before but i knew him by here air but not by eyes no? i think to see by ears is more uh, valuable 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 than seeing by this i have heard so many times and so much things from my gurudev that he is a very great personality of a person of great personality he is a writer good writer and very juktivadi always nirbhay nirbhay means no fear at all and he is preacher of satya truth no fear from anyone i heard that uh, he has written so many things in gaudiya patrika of ours hindi bhagavat patrika and english back to godhead at the time of prabhupada perhaps back to godhead no 1944 he began after harmonist harmonist he prabhupada had told him to give uh, prabandh Articles. articles in harmonist and you will have to go to western countries to preach chaitanya mahaprabhu's teachings there when i see saw him i was very much attracted to him and anyhow i used to sit with him and to talk with him and he was mm, so much man um, powerful in talking not in at that time not he used to give lectures but talking for most uh, prabhav sali prabhav sali influential influential conversation and he used to when he used to do part from shrimad bhagavat literary with meanings एते चांसकला पुंस कृष्णस्तु भगवान स्वयं इंद्रार्व्याकुलम लोकम मृडियंत जुगे जुगे ही यूज टू वर्ड बाय वर्ड ही यूज टू गिव एक्सप्लेनेशन सो ब्यूटीफुल एंड सो इन गुड मैनर दैट ऑल कैन बी सेटिस्फाइड एंड दे विल हैव टू एडमायर हिम so i had first saw him in calcutta and after that he went to elahaba um, he wrote so many things in our gaudiya patrika and i used to read them so many to me when he came to mathura he told me one thing that uh, i 
was so much fearing that uh, I should not live this world and I will not take sannyasa order. But I see that that fear has fallen upon me. I have read that uh, Jasya Anugranami Harishe Tadhanam Sanayi in Srimad Bhagavad. Those who take shelter of Krishna, they became Akinchan Nishkinchan and no <coughs> he become no reach and all other things. So I always used to fear from this <coughs> slope. But I see that by chanting and by serving here in Mathura, I am going to take sannyas. At first, uh, um, people did not knew him, that he is so qualified. When he took sannyas and went to Jhansi, went to Agra and other places, then he became to Mane Nikharne Lagge. Mane? Showing his quality. Then persons used to know that who he is. So, when he came to Mathura, and from Mathura he came to Radha Dhamma, the temple, I was with him. I saw that he was so nishkincha, nothing with him. No kambal, no quilt, nothing. Only a very what is it? Torn and quilted. And after that, I used to give my this chadar on that. On that we used to sit and conversation with about Rupa Goswami and other Goswamis and what he is writing he used to make me see. At that time, we both, in midday, uh, we used to make chapati with our own hands. He used to do like this, and I he used to uh, put on fire. And then we two take, we used to take. I, I was also with him at uh, Delhi. Krishna Chipiwali Gali. I was also. He was always not, uh, he was always in writing, chanting, no, not a moment he. Uh, he always. In Mathura I have seen him, always writing and always thinking all these things. He has a plan at Mathura that I will go to Western countries and if there will be need, I will make hostels and there, if it will be needed, I will distribute eggs, meat, Wine also, and I have full faith that by taking holy name of Krishna, in a very few days they will leave everything. And that is why he went there, and in no time he spread in whole world his mission. I see that. Uh, uh, Iske pahle koi bhi aisa acharya nahi dekha humne. I have not seen any acharya. Even Sankaracharya, he took some days, some time. And he spread only in India at that time. But he, in a few days, I think from 1960, Eight to eh, sixty-eight to seventy-seven. In this, 
in whole India, Western countries, Eastern countries, everywhere. So many places, so many centers, everywhere Radha Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Jagannath he established. Not only established, he brought very good voice, a scholar like <laughs> Tamal Krishna, Bhavananda at that time, Brahmananda, uh, Kirtanananda, and not only so many, <coughs> hundreds and thousands and thousands of boys, not only boys, also girls, women's, children's, he brought. And in shape of sannyasi, in shape of brahmachari, all other groups of our Gaudiya Mats also admit this fact that we have no Guru Nishtha as Iskun has. <laughs> Certainly this. They admit. And I also admit that you have so much faith and so much belief in your Guru, guru Dev that we have no so much faith. You are also a very qualified person. He collected as a jadu ki chadi se unhone, jadu ki chadi, magic, magic, magical one. He called all these things, eh? and he roop diya bhakti bino thakur ka, jo sab dalika unhone prithvi te ache jato nagar adigram sarvat prachar hoy de morana. He gave a shape of this Bhakti Vinod Thakur say, we see now that we Indians and Westerns, no hair, with tiki, mota mala, gala, ladies and gentlemen and all devotees, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, 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 Ram. I think in India we see that all our ashram are without ladies. But he has given a scope for Western person. Because if I will tell them that you should all have to be brahmachari and sannyasi, then it is so hard to preach there. And at least every jeev has quality to serve Krishna. They have janma siddha dika to birthright to serve Krishna if the ladies or person, females or any jeev, everyone has quality and sarupata, they have right to serve Krishna consciousness. So he has done so. According to Kali Yuga, will have to be so so he has given a scope. If he has not given a scope, I think this preaching was no so very much in this world. But uh, he has given something as a common thing. He was he has no he had no time at all at that time. He had preached only general things. He has given in books so many things, but he could not preach all. In bhakti, we see that there is a star of bhakti. Star? There are so many stages of bhakti. 
आदौ श्रद्धा तथा साधु संग अथ भजन क्रिया तथो अनर्थन वृत्ति तथो निष्ठा रुचि आसक्ति एंड भाव रस इन दिस वर्ल्ड वी कैन गो ओनली अप टू दिस हियर वन थिंग इज दैट भक्ति इज ओनली उत्तम भक्ति he wanted to preach all these things that i am saying in western countries also that roop goswami has given in bhakti goswami sindhu ujwal ninmani and all his other books and raghunath das goswami krishna das ka viraj goswami and all other guru parampara has given this he wanted to give all things in western countries but he could not do at that, at that time because time was not so much only 10 or 12 years he has done so he tried to give shraddha then nishtha nishtha then ruchi what is nishtha we should know we have we are chanting hari name we are doing all activities asramanam kirtanam vishnu smaranam pad seman archanam vadanam darshakhyatma nivedan aur sadhu sang naam kirtan bhagavat shraman mathura vasi mukti sabdhaya seva we are doing but we should go deep in all these things nishtha what is the meaning of nishtha when all anarth goes away what is the anarth hmm. istri sangi ek sadhu krishna bhakt aar istri sangi ek sadhu aur krishna bhakt aar those who are bishai don't do bhakti to krishna we should not do sang of these persons those who are entangled in multi toxic toxication and uh, mm, other things we should not do all these things swarup bhram asat krishna hriday daurbalya एम अपरा नमा परा वैष्णव अपरा सेवा परा धामा परा दिज आर ऑल अनर्थ इन माधुर्य कादंबिनी हैज रिटर्न अबाउट ऑल दीज थिंग्स वट आर अनर्थ वेन ऑल अनर्थ गोज अवे देन निष्ठा कम्स निष्ठा मीन्स बुद्धि पूर्वक हम जानते हैं कि कृष्ण नाम अच्छा वी नो दैट कृष्ण नेम इज सो गुड थिंग वी नो दैट हियरिंग ऑफ कृष्ण एंड चैंटिंग ऑफ कृष्ण नेम इज सो गुड बट वी कैन नॉट डू बट फैन वी नो बाय बुद्धि buddhi means wisdom that without doing so we cannot get go up in bhakti then it is called dishtha nishchayatmak buddhi i will die yet i will die but i cannot live krishna bhakti this is nishtha i want to do one lakh hari hari naam I Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Haridas Thakur our Guru Swami used to do but we go to Bimla Kund Aradha Kund and take snan and jukham sarvi cold catches we can do so 
we want to do all these things but we cannot do. But we try to do, this is nishtha. And when the ruchi comes, ruchi means taste. taste, then it comes easier. And when ashakti comes, then without doing we cannot live, as if we will die if we don't take name or we don't hear Harikatha. If a man, there are two kinds of persons. Sardha is of two kinds. One is Bhadhi Sardha and other is Radhanuga. Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj has just prayed Vaidhi Bhakti. At that time he had no chance, no appropriate time to tell about Raganga Bhakti. He has written in his books, but if he, uh, at that time he told, I think that we, at that time we were not so qualified that we can learn that thing. So he has not given. But uh, he has showed the part how we can by doing by the bhakti, we can go in Raganuga Bhakti. Raganuga Bhakti Lobhumais from Lobhumais Radha. Eh? Greed by greed. Hmm? By hearing some Srimad Bhagavad. If a man has Greed in Srimad Bhagavat, in Gopi Bhav, or Varsalya Bhav, or Sakya Bhav, especially Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has come here to give Svabhakti Sriyam. Anarpati Charim Chirat Karunaya Avatir Nahakalau, Samarpai Tum Unna Tojjalar Sang Svabhakti Sriyam, Harihapur Sundar Duti Kadamba Sandipita, Sada Hridaya Kandare Puratume Sachinandanaha. No? Meaning is so deep. Especially he has come. Your Gurudev has also come. Swamiji has also come to give this thing. But uh, he used to first uh, plane this soil, land, no? so that he may give this seed in that. So, so much time he took only to make swell for seed. He had given seed, but uh, so much time passed in only to making good swell. He has told that uh, if in world there is Maya Bhag or Dvait Bhag, Bhakti cannot be there. Prabhupada has also said, told this. But for the thing he, he has come down to this sphere, only to give Chaitanya Mahaprabhu mission, Anarpita Charim Chirat Karunayavatirna Kalau Samarpaitam Unnato Jalar Sangsa Bhakti Siya. What is that thing? I have told perhaps uh, uh, so many times, but again I want to say it. And that is was the mission of Srila Prabhupada also. Yeah. That Swabhak Anarpit Charin Chirat Karunaya Vatirna Hakalau Samarpai Tum Unnata Ujjwala Rasan. Unnata Ujjwala Rasa is Gopi Bhav. Not Swakiya Bhav of Dwarka, but Parkiya Bhav of Braja. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Or Swamiji has not come to give this thing. Unnat Ujjwala Ras. Something, Vaisishtya, that is 
उन्नत और उज्जवल रस इज ऑफ श्रीमती राधिका चैतन्य महाप्रभु हैज कम टू टेस्ट दिस थिंग नॉट टू गिव टू अदर्स स्व उन्नत उज्जवल रसान स्वभक्ति श्रियम स्व मीन्स राधिका भक्ति मान राधिका प्रेम राधाया प्रणय महिमा की दृशो वा नैवा अस्वाद व जेना भूत मधुर में आकी दृशो वा मधी चेतन महाप्रभु वज कृष्ण ही केम इन चेतन महाप्रभु फॉर हैविंग स्टोलेन the inner bhav and this eh? complexion. complexion he can in the shape of chaitanya mahaprabhu go lord gaurang sachi nandan why sachi nandan because was very dear to her mother and mother was so humble and kripalu dayalu तो चैतन्य महाप्रभु आई थी कृष्णदास कबिराज रूप गोस्वामी इज चैलिंग सचिन नंदन दैट सची देवी इज सो मच दया मर्सीफुल सो ही सन शुड मस्ट बी सो कृपालु एज ए मदर एंड ही ही विल गिव हर्स एज ए मदर गिफ्ट इज breast for her son so chaitanya mahaprabhu will give that prem to us so he is praying to chaitanya mahaprabhu he is not at that time krishna krishna but in the form of shrimati radhika radhika is also so much merciful more than krishna radhika is whole kripa of chaitanya of krishna in the form of radhika so much merciful so here sachinandan means so much kripal merciful what he will give he cannot give three things what shrimati radhika tested radhaya pranay mahima how krishna is beautiful how she blows his banshi and a penu madhuri the sri is manjari pushpa so manjari is a rupa manjari ananga manjari rati manjari lavang manjari and all mandari vinod mandari kamala mandari nayan mandari ar sri shobha of shrimati raj that you should all enter in uh, his priya bhakti raganuga bhakti and prema bhakti eh? and in this life also you should go enter enter in this bhakti realm uh main bahut hi dukh prakash karta hu ki main in bhavon ko jo maine kaha shuddh roop se main nahi kar saka हिंदी या बंगला भाषा में होता तो मैं कुछ और शायद कह सकता किंतु आप सब लोग हिंदी भाषा में नहीं समझेंगे और दुभाषिया भी शायद हमारे उन भावों को जो मैं कहना चाहता था 
नहीं समझ आज गुरु जी का विरह का दिन ऐसा है जिसमें हम भीतर से उनके विचारों को समझने की चेष्टा करके हम उसमें प्रवेश कर सकते हैं आज गुरु जी हम लोगों पर वो कृपा करके वो भाव दें उनके भावों को समझ करके हम भक्ति में प्रवेश कर सकें और विश्व में भी उसका प्रचार कर सकें यही हम प्रार्थना करके अपना वक्तव्य में समाप्त करता हूँ गौ प्रमान
He has such a strong desire. He has so much love for Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and so much appreciation for giving Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy that uh, he worked day and night tirelessly. His Guru Maharaj gave him the water. He had absolute faith on that water. And as Prahlad Maharaj said, I don't want liberation. So long I can serve my Guru Maharaj, I don't want liberation. We heard one of Prabhupada's disciples speaking. He was Prabhupada's servant, Hari Suri Prabhu. He said that Prabhupada was forcing the servants to force him to preach more and more. And they could see that by doing this preaching, he was gradually becoming weaker and weaker and going towards death. But he was saying to them, I want this blessing. I want this blessing that I should die like a soldier in the field. When Prabhupada was here in 1977, he was so weak that he could not lift his hand by himself. So he was saying now in the room, he called me late in the night, maybe it was 11 o'clock at night. He said, we have tried everything and all medicines are failing. So now I think that Krishna wants me to go back. So kindly let me go back. So as a disciple, how could I say, yes, please go back? Because as Narakam Das Thakur sings, the disciple breaks his head on the stone, thinking of the separation of his Guru Maharaj. So I was thinking what to do, how to convince Srila Prabhupada that he should not give up the will. And then I said to Srila Prabhupada, the, the, the problem is that in Vrindavan is a place that you come to die. Vrindavan is a place that you come. Your Guru Maharaj didn't tell you to stay in Vrindavan. He told you to go to the West. So I think the reason that you are dying is because you're in Vrindavan. You should go to the West. I said, if you go to the West, and then I quoted the Bhagavad Gita verse. I, it, I quoted in English that if you die, Krishna told Arjuna, if you die, you will go to the heavenly planets. And if you live, you can enjoy the earthly kingdom. So I said that if you live, then you can preach so much. And if you die, so what? You're always in Vrindavan. Wherever you go is Vrindavan. So when Prabhupada heard this, although he was so weak, he sat up like this. And he said, actually, Krishna has spoken through you. He said, let us go to the West and we will preach and I will die like a soldier in the field. And if I die in New York, he said, you will have to bury me on the roof of the building because there's no place on the street, there's only buildings, so you bury me on the top of the roof. <laughs> so this was Prabhupada's mood that we saw. And I only say this, that what is the qualification, what is our qualification for entering into Raghunuga Bhakti? Surely the best qualification we have is the preaching mission which Prabhupada gave us. Because without that preaching, what are we? We are not very good sadhakas. We fall asleep while chanting our japa. We become tired while reading. We commit so many mistakes and offenses. But I think that a word that Prabhupada told, one day I approached him in Bombay, and I said, Shiva Prabhupada, you are sending us to the bank, you are causing us to do all of these world, apparently worldly acts. So, I think that I cannot quote Bhagavad Gita as well as I can quote the Bombay municipal laws. <laughs> so Prabhupada said, that is not very good. You should be able to quote Bhagavad Gita. So I said, but you're giving us all of these things to do. So then he said, for so many lifetimes you have spoiled your life. Now, somehow you have come to Krishna consciousness. So I am requesting you that in this lifetime you sacrifice it for the mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. If you give your life wholeheartedly in the service of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then I promise you that whatever you are lacking, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will personally come and cover for you and take you back to Godhead. So, Guru Parashraya, 
What is the mission of Srila Prabhupada? It is a twofold mission. On the one hand, it is to spread Krishna consciousness all over the world with all of our energy. And on the other hand, it is to personally become Krishna conscious ourselves. You cannot spread Krishna consciousness if you are not Krishna conscious. Why was Srila Prabhupada successful? Because of his Krishna consciousness. Because he had so much love for Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, for the lotus feet of Sri Sri Radha and Krishna. So unless we get that love, our mission will not become successful. Some scholars who are close to our movement, they have written in a book that the success of the Krishna consciousness movement will depend on whether the members of this society can actually develop love for Radha and Krishna. If they cannot, then the movement will not succeed. So I think that, as Narayan Maharaj has told us, that Srila Prabhupada will act as Antarjami. He will guide us through the Vaishnavas, through our God brothers. He will guide us and help us in all respects, if we are progressive, to go to the higher stages of Krishna Bhakti. If we don't do that, Prabhupada said, the Guru is not so pleased to take money from the disciple as much as to see the disciple advancing in spiritual life. So I think, I recall, Prabhupada got one letter from Giridaj Maharaj. And Giridaj Maharaj wrote that when the arti is being performed to Radha Ras Bihari, sometimes I start to cry. And when I am reading your books, sometimes the tears come. So I am worried because I know that I am a fallen person and you have warned us not to be sahajya. So please tell me, what is this? And Srila Prabhupada said, actually this is the mercy of Radha and Krishna upon you. This is Srimati Radhika's mercy upon you. This is not bogus, this is genuine. So I saw how much Prabhupada was pleased and he became very much pleased to read this letter. He was very personally pleased inside. So I could see by this that he was so much pleased to know the advancement of a disciple. So I think that we must do two things, all of us who are Prabhupada's followers. We say, as we say, Rupa Anuga, there's also Prabhupada Anuga. Those who are genuine Prabhupada Anugas, they should do two things that with their sadhana, they should become more and more advanced, not to mechanically do sadhana, but to actually develop some taste, to get some actual greed in the heart for chanting, for worshipping the deity, for serving the Vaishnavas. And at the same time, with all of their efforts, they should sacrifice their life to spread this Krishna consciousness movement. If we do both of these things, just like the train runs on two tracks, and as Rupa Goswami has said, Seva Sadaka Rupena, Siddha Rupena Chakri. Externally, we should act as a Sadaka and vigorously preach in the full Ghosti Nandi mood. And internally, we should try to understand what is Rupa Goswami. Who is Rupa Goswami? Who is Srila Prabhupada? And who are all of the different acharyas in our line? That they're all coming, following Rupa Goswami, who is Rupa Manjari. So internally understanding their real identity, we should try to qualify ourselves one day in some future time, whether it is this lifetime or some future lifetime, to become qualified to perform pure sadhana, pure bhajan, so that when we chant, there will actually be some taste, some feeling. Now we have no feeling, but the feeling will come. At least we can desire that please let that feeling come one day. And this will actually please Srila Prabhupada. When he sees that the devotees are feeling ecstasy, when they are dancing in Kirtan, and there are ecstatic feelings within their heart, and when they are spreading Krishna consciousness, as Srila Prabhupada did, without any fear, conquering in all directions, that the whole world should be Krishna conscious, not just on the platform of, of Kanista mentality, but on the platform of advanced devotees, Madhyam Bhaktas and one day Bhutam Bhaktas. Srila Prabhupada said that Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur said that his mission would be successful if he could create one pure devotee. 
And Prabhupada said the same thing. He said, if I can create one pure devotee, my mission will be successful. So, I think that Prabhupada actually doesn't want one pure devotee. I think he wants many, many pure devotees. So I am simply requesting all devotees of ISKCON they should fulfill this desire of Srila Prabhupada. That every one of them should one day, by the grace of Guru and Vaishnavas, become pure devotee. And that will please our spiritual master, and it will fulfill the prediction of Srila Bhakti Sananda Sarasani Thakur, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Prabhupada said, I will be satisfied in the, in, in the history books. It is written that the Krishna consciousness movement saved the world. Srila Prabhupada ki jai, Vaishnavinda ki jai, Gopremanandi 